Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to the final part of Efficient Beginners Guide for Worlds to Live Online. Um, unfortunately, you can see that the quest that I'm going to show you is already ticked because I already actually recorded all this, but um, yeah, the video got corrupt, so I'm doing it all again, so I do already have most of the items. But anyway, let's get on with the video. So, what I'm going to recommend for you is a minimum six medium med kits, which, like I said, you can buy from the doctor. Three ciders, which you can buy from the bar. Uh, make sure you've got ammo. You should have ammo if you watch part two. So, anyone that didn't watch part one or two and you're not this far in the game and you're looking for a beginner's guide, there'll be links in the description below to part one and two. So, now you've got all them things, let's go. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to run over to the west side, the southwest gate, uh, because we're going to be going over to the MTE. You can press M here, um, go to onto there, and you can see we're going to be coming out of this gate right here, and we're just going over to here, the MTE. So we're going to be collecting quite a few items, because we're going to be collecting items for the next uh, four quests. Um, the reason I said this is the last part, because after this I won't be putting it as beginner's guides, I won't be doing part 4, 5, 6 or anything like that. I'll be doing um, guides on quests by the the name of the quest. So if you want to find a quest, obviously like this one's called Watchers, you type in, you know, Will to Live Online Watchers or Zero Life Will to Live will, will, Online <laughs> Zero Life Will to Live Online Watchers. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right, anyway, we're just going to run directly west. Uh, run along the road. We can go this way, but we're not going to because there's a couple of rats over there We don't really need to fight them. We're just gonna take a left at the back of this van and just Yeah, don't run over the hill because of the rats, but you can take a little bit of a shortcut. So we're gonna want um, 10 pieces of wood as well or 10 sticks. You can find them in the grass. We're just gonna be looking around our feet around here uh, you can, there's quite a lot outside the MTE. We want 10 pieces of wood, so just grab a few of them. You'll know what they are when you see them. It's like a small pile of logs and then a small bundle of white sticks. We're probably going to see get attacked by some watchers on the outside as well. Oh, here's some sticks right here. So then I'll be able to show you how they fight because these go invisible. They're kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but it's not too hard. But anyway, yeah, just run around here, collect some sticks. You're going to want 10 in total. Obviously, I, I have 11 now, so I've just picked up them free. So I'm going to go into the MTE. Pause the video if you need to. Uh, or just collect them when you come back out. It's up to you. But yeah, let's go into the MTE. So the second you're going to go, you go into the MTE, you're going to get a new quest called Explore the MTE. If you press page up or page down, it'll go into the next quest. As you can see, mine's at 55%. Now we're going to go back to the Watchers quest. The reason is, is if you're not a hunter and you're on the Watchers quests, the Watchers will show up on the minimap yellow. If you are a hunter, don't worry about it. They'll show up on the minimap regardless. As you can see, a yellow with that on the minimap right now. So before we set off, I'm going to put up the items that you're going to need. It's going to be on the screen right now. This is going to be for the next four quests. Obviously, the stick, metal, plastic, and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. We're going to turn right. We're going to go this direction. We're going to jump over here through this gap in the wall. Now, remember I said the watchers can go invisible. Um, you'll be able to see them. But I'll, I'll show you in a minute. We'll get one on us in a minute. We're going to go in here, take a left. Right, we should have one on us now. Yeah. So, as you can see, it's there, it's invisible. If I turn around, it's going to charge me. The second I look at it, it'll go invisible. And that's how you fight the watchers. Oh, we just walked into one. Yeah, simple as that. So we're going to loot these up. Hold F. Yeah, we don't need none of that. And I'll take that. But anyway, yeah. So you're going to come over here, loot this red box. Yeah, we're going to do this quick. We're just going to take all. Then we're going to drop down here. Yep, to the middle one. Take all. And then we're going to run up these stairs. We're going to skip this one. Go down the next one. Into the second hole here. Take a left. Make sure you crouch with left control. Got a watcher trying to sneak up on us. Search this red box. Yeah, take all that out. Then we're going to come out here. Take a right. 
Then take a left into this tunnel here. Search this one. Most of these items are probably going to be gone because there is someone just a little bit ahead of me. But then we're going to come back up these stairs. Take a right. And you should see a red box on your left here under these stairs. Search these. Oh, we've got them. Brilliant. Then up the stairs. Don't rush into this part here because you see these white bits. Uh, this is going to give you burn damage. So you're just going to want to go around this. So it's this red box. Grab them. Spin around. Drop down. Turn left a little bit. Over here. Turn left again. Go up the stairs. Watch out for the fire. Don't get bit by the watchers like that. Um, yeah, if you do run into them, they will break your legs for a second. And we're going to loot this box up these stairs. Yeah, take them. So we're going to come out here. Take a right. Drop down. Straight across into this little room here watch out for this green stuff do not run into that it hurts it really hurts poisons you already gone spin around come out here take a right just down left side of this up these stairs take a left around here jump across loot the box someone's been here because there's some bullets on the floor right there so unfortunately we didn't get anything last box we're going to drop down up the stairs again over here and I think this guy's just looted this box unfortunately yeah all right so um, we're gonna drop down just all right so let's keep moving if you are overweight just drop any items that you don't need oh, he's just looted that box yeah there's a box there in the corner that you can loot remember hold your breath with this green stuff like we said in part two yeah, I'm going to pop a med kit. Yep, drop any items you don't need. We're going to keep moving. We're going to go into this first hangar here. Just turn left. Now, we're going to search this box here. None of the, all the rest of these boxes aren't going to have any of the quest items you want, but you can make a little bit of money, get a couple of items, and it's nice to know where they are. So we're going to go out the east side, take a right, completely skip the second hangar. There's absolutely nothing in there for you. You don't, it's just pointless going in there. If you're doing the explorer's quest, you want to explore the MTE, then, you know, go in here. But you need to go into every corner of every part of the MTE. Um, so yeah, you can go through here if you want to get your explorer up. As you can see, mine's just going up by 5%, but watch out for the gas here, because this will poison you. I'm going to pop a cider to get my stamina back up. Now, into the third hangar. You can see the green on both sides. Just hold your breath with left ult and run through it. You're fine. And we're going to run to this red box. There you go, take these out, they're worth 100 each, that's what you're after there. Then we're going to go back, and this should be another red box right here. Take that out, oh we're going to die. All right, and we just hit level five. Nice. All right, let me get my stuff back. <laughs> Can't believe that happened. All right, loot the red box. Let's have a look what we got. Tell it out. There we go. Uh, hold our breath, run through. And take a left.
Now, if you want to do the Explorer one, like I said, you're going to want to run through, have a look around, you know, make sure there's nothing here. Our Explorer's going to 65% now. Yeah, there we go. Keep running around, watch out for that big gun. Take a right out here, we're going to run over to these garages. Have a look around here. Oh, we've got two level sixes on us, that's not good. Run back, take a med kit. Uh, we need to find a safe spot here because these are going to hurt us. Watch out for this, it's invisible, it will do burn damage to you. Pop a side of there because we're out of stamina. And we're just going to jump on back of this truck. So here is a safe spot if you need to. You just can run over to this truck in between the second and third hangar. There we go. Easy peasy. So now you know a safe spot. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Right, let's carry on with the Explorer. I'm just going to quickly skip through here. Alright, so I'm going to show you where a little room is. It has a locked door. I hold my breath. There we go. Um, you're not going to be able to get in there until a lot later on. Um, because you need a specific key for it. And you're not going to get, you get that key from NPCs that you kill. Which are pretty hard to kill, I'm not going to lie. Nothing chasing us now. And it's this key here. Now, some people say that you need to get into this room to completely finish the Explorer quest. You don't. I've done it. I've completed the quest without it. But as soon as you try to unlock this door, you will get a quest for lockpicks. Just kill this. Saying um, that you need to make some lockpicks. So how I did it, um, how I finished this Explorer quest without um, getting through that door was I just carried on running around checking every single, every corner I could until I got it up to 95%. And then I thought, all right, so I need another 5% to finish, uh, to finish the quest. No, that's not entirely true. There's actually another place you can go, which I'm going to show you at the end. We're just going to have another quick... We're just going to run down this, uh, the right side of the map, though. Have a look in here. Let me just get the Explorer quest back up. It's now at 75%. We're going to have a run down here. So to, yeah, to get this up, mine's just gone up to 80, as you can see. To get this up, I'm going to drink my last cider. All you have to do is just keep running around the map, keep checking all the areas. Uh, and now I'm going to show you a secret spot, hopefully if we can get there, out. So, um, on the right side of, like, near the hangers here, look, the hangers are here, you have all these, you go um, in the middle of them here, and there's, there's this. Now, for the people that don't know, these are teleports, and they can teleport you to some, some of them will teleport you to your death, some will teleport you uh, across the map, like, so you don't go to run places. There'll be a link in the description to the, a map that shows you most of these teleports. This one can actually teleport you on top of one of the hangars where you can get some loot and it'll get an extra 5% for the MTE Explorer quest, which will actually complete the quest for you. So we're going to run through it. It's random. There's lots of different areas it can take you. So hopefully we'll go to the right one. All right. We weren't. On, that wasn't the right one, but... All we have to do is go back down and try again. I'll try a couple of times. Hopefully we'll get it. Oh. Alright, so I've, I've gone through it twice now. It's not took us to where we want to go. But basically you can get on top of that one and there's a bag at the end. And you'll get the plus 5% Explorer. So what we need to do now, we need to check your items. Let's have a quick look. Got 14... 
five. Yep. All right. So I have everything that I need apart from some of my sticks. Anything that you don't have, just do another lap as in go back to the where we started with the first red box do all the red boxes in there again and you hopefully should have everything if not then you'll just have to keep going and going i got lucky by getting everything the first run so i'm gonna head back i'm gonna grab a little bit more firewood on the way out so i dropped a few when i died and forgot to pick them back up so yeah that's it basically so we're gonna run back we're gonna hand all our quests in and jobs are good and that will be the end of part three and the last Efficient Beginner's Guide. So, I'm just going to find a couple of sticks around here. I might actually edit this out, I'm not too sure yet. Depending on how fast I find them. There is two. That is three. I only need one more. <clears throat> and there's the last one, so I'm going to run back. And that's that, you got all your items, congratulations. Uh, free, free. Did I need 15 or 13 of them in it? Yeah, it's 13. Oh, hang on, a side is left. No, I am, that's unfortunate. So we're just gonna run over, bit, run northeast. Sorry, <laughs> I lost, lost concentration then. Yeah, just go over northeast back to the uh, beginner's town and hand all these quests in. Alright, we can sprint it again. Uh, obviously, I hit level 5, so I have got some skill points, so I'm going to spend them in a minute. I'll probably do them while you will run back into the safe zone. Yep, so just run straight ahead, and just run straight back to the safe zone. Uh, I'm not going to do that yet, because I'm not too sure how, how I want to build this character. But I will put the skills one in. Plus 5% XP. This is an engineer, so you can get the XP bar here. Alright, so we're going to run straight to Mick to hand in the Watcher's Quest. Like, if you want to do the Explorer's Quest, the MT Explorer Quest, it'll get you 5k XP. Me, personally, I don't want to do it. I'm not really too fussed. It, it, trust me, it's a lot of effort. But if you do want to do it, uh, go ahead. Good luck. It, will, it does take a while to do. Um, so I'm not going to bother with it. If you didn't get... Alright, F, spam 1. Yep. F, spam 1. Alright, then we're going to run out here. Run back down. Take a left when you go out. And we're going to run into the bar. F, spam 1. That was just for your next quest, it's an anomaly, uh, an anomaly quest. So you know the teleport that I was telling you about? So to do that quest for him, all you have to do is go and stand next to one. Don't run into it, just stand next to it. And that'll do that quest for you. Run into the next area, run to talk to this guy. Spam one, F spam one, that's another one completed. Now I'm just going to take the next mission from him, which is eight watcher shells. Take that one. <clears throat> F, spam one. So that was all the three that we needed. We just had to talk to him and get the quest. And there we go. That's all them quests handed in. All right, so now we're just going to run back to the bar real quick. As it come out, take a left, take a left. Go up and over. You know where the bar is by now. Obviously, you're, on, you're at the end of part three. You should know where most of this stuff is. Uh, 
Go into the bar, up left. Talk to the barman again. F spam one. He's gonna give you the stick mission. F spam one. Stick mission complete. There you go. That is all of them missions done. So yeah, that was the end of part three. I hope it helps, guys. Um, I'm not gonna do a quest guide for the Watchers armor because you know how to do that. Obviously, you go kill the Watchers over in the MTE. <coughs> um, the stashes in anomalies. Like I said, just go to one of them teleports and stand at the side of it. That'll complete your quest. I've shown you where one is. There'll also be a link to the map in the description below, which will show you where all the best teleports of the game are. So yeah, I hope you learned, guys. I hope it. I hope these guides helps. Watch out for future videos on this game. We'll be doing uh, some tip videos, where to find certain items, quests, some PvP videos. And anything you can think of really so drop it a like drop a sub i hope you enjoyed it guys drop in the comment what you thought of the video or any suggestions you might have and i'll catch you in the next one peace out